when there's a pain in the body, the first step is to try to fo not to focus on the pain. Part of the brain is hardwired to let you know there's something wrong here, there's something that's not right. You can tell yourself, okay, I've got the message now, and I'm doing what I can to cure the pain. But in the meantime, the pain's there. So you have to cut the wires. Just tell yourself there's other parts of the body that are perfectly okay. Focus your attention there. Breathe in a way that maximizes the sense of being comfortable there. That gives you a much better place to stay. The pains can be in the other part of the body. And John Lee's image is of you, you're having a choice. You can hang around good people or you can hang around with criminals. The pains are the criminals. Why do you want to hang around with them? Stay with good people. They'll give you strength. And when you've been strengthened with them, then you can think of that goodness, that comfort that you've got in that comfortable part of the body. And think of it spreading through the pain and going out. For instance, if the pain is in your knee, think of it going down the legs, the good breath energy going down the legs, and then past the knee, through the knee, and then on out your feet. If it's in your head, think of it going out your eyes, so the whole head is ventilated. That helps to release any tension or bands of tightness you may feel around the pain. Then when you feel up to it, you can look into the pain directly. This is where you switch back to focusing on the pain, but you're focusing with a question. What is my perception around the pain that makes it so heavy on the heart? You can try different perceptions. Do you perceive that it's invaded your space, that it's taken over a part of you that you want to claim? You have to remind yourself the pain is one thing, the body is something else. They may be in the same space, but they're different at different wavelengths, put it that way. So focus on the solidity of the body, the warmth of the body, the breath energy going through that area. You realize, okay, these are different from the pain. It's like different radio stations. They send their signals, and the signals go through the same space, the same air. But you have a radio that can detect different frequencies, so you tune into the frequency of the station you want and tune out the ones you don't want. And you see that they really are separate. If you feel that the pain is attacking you, that it has an intention, remind yourself the pain doesn't even know that it's pain, much less have an intention. And as soon as these moments of pain arise, they're going away, going away. So what you want to do is see that the way you perceive the pain, the mental images you have for the pain, are part of the problem. And you can drop them and replace them with better images. Or see what happens when you try not to have any image around the pain at all. That way, instead of being a victim of the pain, you take a more proactive role. You're not a target. If you just sit there and take the pain, you're a sitting target, stationary target. But if you move around and ask questions, you're a moving target. It's hard for the pain to shoot you. But then you remind yourself that the pain's not trying to shoot you, it just comes and goes. And as I said, it doesn't even know that it's pain. So investigate the perceptions you have around the pain. You'll find you'll learn a lot of really good lessons about the mind. At the same time, you give yourself something to do, something worthwhile to do. Not just sit there suffering from the pain. Use this as an opportunity to learn. After all, pain is part of the First Noble Truth, there's the pain and then there's the clinging. You want to see where your clinging is. And so being with the breath gives you a good place to stand, since you feel more inclined to want to take on that task and see what you can learn.